Welcome back. We are looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for 29 of September 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe, hit the bell button and the like button, and uh, let's get to it. So first, we're going to look at the Great British Pound and the US Dollar. And the Great British, this pair has rallied quite significantly in this trading session. We ran into resistance at, uh, at the, the, um, this uh, 40 exponential moving average, and we gave a lot of the gains back. Uh, we did rally around nearly 1.26%, which is uh, quite significant. And the main reason for this is uh, due to the depreciation of the US dollar index. Um, uh, whether or not it's just uh, a pullback for the day or, or a major pullback for for several days, we don't know. If it's if we we basically hit the highs for the with the US dollar index and now we turn around, then this market will go significantly higher. Well, if you look at the technical indicators for this uh, for this pair, they are looking really positive. We are about to cross the single line, indicating bullish momentum. Uh, the RSI is really bullish, and the same goes for the stochastic. Um, we need to get, if we get through this um, uh, 20 exponential moving average, then we'll target the 50 moving average. And if we have a candlestick above this 50 moving average, then we'll go to these highs of uh, 1348. Um, it looks like this this um, purple line or it's a uh, support, which is uh, the 50 exp uh, moving average and the 200 moving average also underneath. If you look at US dollar and the yen, we have run into resistance at the exponential, the 40 expansion moving average. Um, and at this point, it's going to be really difficult to get through this. Um, I need to get rid of that. Sorry, I need to get through get through this um, this uh, 50 uh, moving average. Uh, I do expect this market, if we basically have a close underneath this uh, 50 moving average, then we are going to these highs of 104. Uh, the technical indicators are fairly bullish, but not as bullish, uh, for example, as the um, uh, to basically show that this market is going to go significantly higher. If we were to break the 50 moving average, we'll go to the the to the 100 moving average, uh, which is around uh, 106. So if you look at the euro and US dollar, we basically found support at this 100 moving average. We uh, did not rally as much as the uh, as the, the Great British Pound. You can also say that it has fallen substantially further the greater greater British pound compared to the euro and US dollar, uh, mainly due to the big uh, many uh, problems in the UK at the moment with Brexit and the economic system and so on. Uh, economic situation, I mean. Uh, so, so, um, so don't expect this pair to to fall as drastic or behave as volatile as the as the Great British pound US dollar. Uh, but we have found support at the 100 moving average. Uh, we are trying to rally. We have given quite a lot of the gains back. Uh, but the, the technical indicators for this pair are more bearish than bullish. We are really far away from the signal line in the MACD. The RSI is technically flat. And we have are about to cross the signal line for the, for the, for the stochastic. So we may see us hovering around this area. If we uh, were to break up, I would expect these moving averages to be um, sub resistant at, at 11.75 and then also at 11.81. If we were, were to break down to the uh, through the 50, 100 moving average, then we go all the way down to 11.40. The Aussie dollar, US dollar, uh, we found resistant at this the support, I mean, at this level, at the 0 0.70. Uh, at this moment, it looks like the 100 moving average is acting as resistant. Um, no interest, basically, in uh, entering this market, neither on the selling side or in the buying side. 
we need to get all the way down to this level in order for me to basically enter this market. Um, and above we have significant resistance with both the 100 moving average and these moving averages. So this is just a way to see basically what is going to happen. The US dollar and the Canadian dollar, it looks like we have found resistance at this level here and it will take quite a lot of work to get through this level. We're also seeing that the, the MACD is about to turn around and the RSI is basically becoming flat. Stochastic is looking really negative. We are basically crossing the signal line. So this market may turn around here, go towards the 50 moving average. If we break that, then we'll continue downwards. If we bounce, then we'll go and probably retest this level again. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the like button, the bell button, and good luck and happy trading. Thank you.